Hi, Lauren Ligavere here from Fleet and Family Support Center San Diego. I am an educator on the Life Skills and Deployment team, and I'm here today just to check up on you all and see how you are doing during this COVID-19 pandemic. I know some of us might be feeling a little stressed out during a time like this, and I'm here today to tell you it is totally normal and totally okay to be stressed during such a challenging time. It's our body's natural reaction to be stressed when we are facing such a crisis. What I'm going to do for you is give you some quick tips to help you combat some of that stress that you might be feeling. So tip number one, make sure you practice self-care. What good are we to others if we can't even take care of ourselves? You need to take at least 10 minutes a day to practice self-care. That helps you focus on yourself, helps you unwind, and helps you relax. Remember that self-care is not selfish at all. Tip number two, make sure you stay connected. With so much going on with social distancing right now, a lot of us might start to feel isolated. So make sure you stay connected with your family and friends. Reach out to them via phone, computer, tablet. We have so many avenues to reach out and just to talk, chat, or even see each other and celebrate a birthday, hang out with each other. You may not physically be together, but you're still spending that time together, okay? Tip number three, continue to live a healthy lifestyle. I know a lot of us are stuck at home. We have the kitchen, we have the pantry, we have the couch like an arm's reach away and it seems so tempting, but we need to make sure that we are continuing to live that healthy lifestyle we did before the pandemic started. Make sure you eat healthy, you drink plenty of fluids, you're getting plenty of rest, you are getting that fresh air and also staying physically active every single day. Tip number four, stay informed but not obsessed. We can get alerts all day long about what is going on in the world and that may cause more undue stress on ourselves. So make sure you set a time during the day, one time, just to get those alerts, to check in, to see what is going on in the world. So we don't have to look at it all day long. Tip number five is to set a goal for yourself. This is the perfect time to focus on yourself. It helps motivate you if you set a goal, okay? The goal can be as simple as finishing a book that you haven't completed yet reading or to unpack some boxes from your last PCS move six months ago, okay? In the end, when you reach that goal after this pandemic is over, it's going to be a win-win situation for yourself. Tip number six is to stay in a routine and a schedule. Now I know, like I said, kids are not in school. Some of us are not going to work. Try to keep your schedule as close to what it was before this pandemic started. Get up, have your breakfast, take your shower, get the kids up, get them going. Because when we eventually do go back, if we stay in the schedule that we had before, it's going to be seamless and flawless to jump right back in with two feet in, okay? Also, make sure that you do get yourself and give yourself breaks throughout the day because if we don't, we're going to start to experience burnout and we do not want that to happen. Okay, last tip of the day that I have for you is to think and stay positive. I know you're probably saying, how in the world am I supposed to stay positive when there is so much devastation going on in the world? Well, let's think about what are all the positives for yourself and your family that can come out with this. I know you are probably becoming more patient, more creative, more organized. These are all skills that you are adding into your tool belt that you may not have known that you had. You are spending more time with your children at home or reaching out to family and friends that you might have not talked to via the phone, okay? And also, let's talk about that money. We are not going and driving all over the place. We are not able to go out and go sit down at nice restaurants right now. So make sure that you take some of this time at home and you save some of that money that you have, okay? Now, if there is anything that you need, please feel free to reach out to Fleet and Family Support Center, San Diego at 866-923-6478 
We are here for you all to answer any questions, lead you to any resources that you need. Just know that we are here to help and support you. Remember, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you when we get back. Bye.